Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Stock channel. I got a question posted on facebook.com slash math, and this is a really interesting problem as well. It said if x and y both are positive, and we're given a function that's bigger than or equal to 25, and the question asks, what's the least possible value of y? Now, how do you approach this problem? First time when I saw this one, the first instinct was, well, let's simplify this one. Let's see what we really have. Okay, uh, the square minus x minus y squared. So let's simplify this using different square. Or you can open it up, um, but I choose to use a different square. So the first time um, plus second term times first time minus second term. Okay, from here I saw this one is 2x, and this one is 2y. I say, ah, this is x and y. Um, basically, so the original equation uh, translated into 4xy is bigger than or equal to 25, which was saying xy is really equal to this one. Okay, so xy is bigger than 25 over 4. Now, I know that when xy equal to 1, uh, or uh, this this curve looks like this. When x is really big, it goes to uh, y goes to zero when x is really small. It goes to um, y goes to uh, infinity, and there is another curve on this side. But since we were given an x and y both are positive, so this curve we're not concerned with. Okay, now this time on this curve, one and one is an important point. Okay, that's the property for this chunk. So. When I look at this chunk, I say, well, it's roughly the same thing. The curve moved up a little bit, but y is bigger or equal to 25 over 4 times 1 over x. Because the form still looks the same. When x equal to 1, y is a little bit over 4. So the curve um, stretched a little bit, but the, but the look of it is still the same. Okay, Again, there is another curve on this side of it. Since we're doing the positive number. We're not really worried about that one. Um, giving this curve look like that, and we want y to be bigger than that. When y is equal to this, we have a line. Okay. This line is y is equal to 25 over 4 times x. Okay, so when this happens, y is bigger or equal to when y times x is equal to 25 over 4, then if x equal to y, then y is equal to 5 over 2. Okay, so 5 over 2 is the least. y has 5 over 2 as the smallest value. Okay, all right, hope this helps, and have a confident day.